G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the third episode of our Aston Villa career mode series. Thank you for all the love that has been shown on the series so far. But today's episode begins on transfer deadline day. Not really sure how much business we're going to be able to do. We've had a pretty, a pretty busy opening window in charge of Villa. But things do start off here. A transfer offer for Mark Bunn. And I think I'm going to accept that. We've got a lot of goalkeeper stocks handy, so I'm going to accept that. We'll have about half a million pound to work with, the give or take. So might be able to bring in somebody young or somebody young or might just be able to use it for the January transfer window where hopefully we should have a little bit more money on top of it. But if you guys do go on to enjoy today's episode and you are enjoying the series so far, make sure you leave a like on the video. And if you are new around here, Scorpion, kick that subscribe button. Mark Bunn, gone on transfer deadline day, off to Saudi Arabia. Should be a nice little payday for him over there. And again, Tommy Elphick, not going to be selling him. Transfer offer again for Alan Hutton. But we need him in the depth of the squad. So he's not going to be going to Turkey. Transfer offer for Mika Richards. We could probably use his experience. Again, a lot of these players are at the point where we could use their depth in the squad. And they're so low valued that it's not worth selling them. So I'm going to reject that one. An offer for one of the big players in Aston Villa. It is the club captain, James Chester. Bazistas come in. But given the fact there's one hour left on deadline day, I'm going to reject that. I don't think I would sell Chester either, at least not this season. So that's the opening transfer window in charge of Aston Villa done and dusted. Ito, Malassia and Davies into the club. Bjornsson, Adama, Hurahan and Bun out of it. This is what the squad or the starting 11 looks like at the moment. But don't forget Jack Grealish is coming back pretty soon. In fact, he might even be back this episode. So now we have to focus until January and make sure we're in an awesome position when the transfer window reopens. So taking a look at the episodes we will have in today's game, we've got five games here and some of them are pretty big. The opening one is against Sheffield United, which I will be playing. The Blades are doing so well in real life. And then out of these remaining games in September, I'm not sure which other ones I'll play. Potentially Blackburn. I love playing the games where there's a real stadium. Maybe even Sheffield Wednesday. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we get closer. But we're going to jump into the game now against the Blades and see if we can take down Sheffield United. So here we go. The opening game for today's episode is against Sheffield United. They're killing it in real life. Hopefully, though, we can kill them down in today's game. We definitely want to continue and get into winning ways and make sure that we're setting ourselves up for a strong season. So only early days so far, but we sit in 10th position. Sheffield United in 8th, so it would be good to climb up above them. So here we go. Here is the Sheffield United side. Dean Henderson in between the sticks. Richard Stearman, former uh, player with Wolves. They've got Billy Sharp out front. Uh, Oliver Norwood, it's a pretty good side. And you can tell why they're doing so well in real life. Five at the back, so it's going to be hard to break them down. And then looking at our side, it's exactly the same side we rocked against Brentford in the last episode. Really amped up for Jack Grealish's return, though. Come on, lads. We're looking to get a good start to the game in. Ito going to Abraham, going to McGinn. Over the top, El Ghazi! Oh, I've got to stop trying the across the body drives. These players just aren't good enough. If I was playing with the likes, with the 90 rated players I'm used to playing with, then yes. But with players like El Ghazi, I've got to stop and get out of this habit. Sheffield United might get the last opportunity of the half. How do we let them get so through? And that's going to be half time. What a dull half of football that was. Oh, they're playing it down the line nicely. Stevens up against Gilbert, puts the cross in, they get the header, and it's going to be a corner. So it is a corner here for Sheffield United. We've struggled defending corners all season long. Win that header, good stuff, Davies. Got a little bit worried there for a second. But they have the ball still. They go through, sharp, going, long shot, good save, Kalinic. Oh, we've turned that one over. That was dumb, Jared. Billy Sharp going through here. Win that ball, Chester. No, they put it at the back post. I knew that was coming. As soon as I saw that ball go to the back post, I knew we were conceding. 
You can't defend that, but I shouldn't have given away the ball in that position. That was absolutely terrible on my behalf. Not being with it to start off this game, and Sheffield United have taken the lead there. I thought I did enough to stop it with Chester, but clearly not. Twanza Bay trying to use his feet. That's the most ridiculous animation. Look at this. The ball's gone back post, and he sticks out his feet. Bloody hell. Come on, trying to hit them on the counter-attack here. We haven't done much offensively in this game. Davies, though, feeding it through. El Ghazi squares it. Abraham, that's one all. What a goal. Beautiful build-up play. Tom Davies, what a pass it was. Through to El Ghazi. Just as I've lined up some substitutions, we go ahead and tie things up in this game. That was the beautiful build-up play we have been looking for. Let's take a look at this on the replay. Beautiful ball there from Davies. Running through with Abraham. And it is Tammy Abraham giving us a tied ball game. Clutch finish as well. And we did make a double substitution here. It is Ito and Carroll coming off. And Green and Kodja coming on. I'm putting Kodja at attacking midfield. And Davies back to centre midfield. Comes out to Gilbert. Going to go to Kodja, who goes to Davies. Long shot straight at Henderson. Good stuff, Davies. Well won, mate. That's how he paid the big bucks for him. We're going to feed it out wide to El Garzi. I see Abraham. Get your head to it. Oh, too much on that ball. Probably the final attack of the game. We need to stop Sheffield United from getting a winner here. That would be absolutely heartbreaking. They pass it back like fools. And that is going to be a one-all draw at the end of the game. I feel like whenever you score the last goal in a draw, you feel like you got a big result. Whereas Sheffield United feel like, they probably feel like they should have held on and won that game. But I'm happy that we grinded out a draw against a good side. All right, so it's time for a game on the road. We are going to simulate this game away at Blackburn, the former champions of the Premier League. But can we get three points on the board here? Chester getting a yellow card. We've made a few substitutions for the game, a few changes. We've brought in Lansbury and Kodja. We've got a bit of fixture congestion coming up. Chester, red carded, but Carroll gets us a goal, but we're going to be missing Chester for the next game against Rotherham, which is frustrating. 15 minutes to go. Brereton equalizes for Blackburn, and it looks like, yeah, we're going to share the points with Blackburn, one all in this game. Chester, what are you doing, mate? All right, gonna simulate this game here against Rotherham. Chester out. Can we get three points though? Can we get back to winning ways? We really need to start making our climb up the ladder. They've got Rodak in between the sticks there, the Fulham keeper. Nobody else that I really recognize though. Kodja gets us in the lead. One nil up against Rotherham, which is good to see. Good stuff. I would love a second goal though. Tammy Abraham. No, they get an equalizer. Are you kidding me? 20 minutes to go. We are in a drawing way. We have been drawing so many games. A late winner. Carroll, 87th minute, gets us the winner. And that is three points on the board. But my God, not comfortable, are we? But we are going to jump into another game here. Another Sheffield team. It is Jack Grealish's return back at Villa Park taking on Sheffield Wednesday. I'm declaring it here, lads. This is where our season really kicks into gear. Back at Villa Park, full strength starting lineup on the field for the first time all season, taking on Sheffield Wednesday. Let's put 40 goals past them and let's signal our intent of going up. This is our starting 11. As you can see there, Jack Grealish in the number 10 role in that attacking midfield spot. Very excited to see how him and Abraham can link up as the season progresses, but this is a good look inside. And then here we go. Here is Sheffield Wednesday side. Sean Hutchinson, the captain. Uh, they got Forestieri in there. Aaron's Rolando Aaron's. Uh, anybody else I really recognise? Not really. Stephen Fletcher on the bench I saw, but hopefully, 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 hopefully we can get in a big result today. They're putting a bit of pressure on us, but it is Grealish. Let's go for a long shot with him. Oh my God! Jack Grealish, his first shot was almost a rocket. Damn, that would have been nice. They're on the attack here. They're putting that one through. Good save from Kalinic. My God, we can't be that sloppy at the back. Here we go, though. Counter-attack. Feeding it through to Ito. 
Ito looking for some support. Goes in there. Davies. 1-0. I thought their defenders were going to intercept it. I thought for sure we wouldn't find the back of the net there. But just like that, we go ahead and get the lead. Davies scoring what I believe is his first goal for the club. Look at this. This ball sat up perfectly for him. Beautiful ball from Ito. Two touches. Dinks it. I thought for sure their defense had it. But Davies in the right place. This, yeah, this angle here is going to be so nice. Look at this. Sits up. Side volley. 1-0. They're on the attack here. They have the shot. And they force Kalinic into a decent save. They have a corner though. Come on, we need to be stronger off the corner. Get your head onto that. They get their head onto it. And thank God it's at the feet of Kalinic. Nice little one-two build up play here. We're going to feed it through to El Ghazi. Come on, El Ghazi. Up against Fox. I see the run of Tom Davies. We're going to go. Davies touch. Shot blocked. We get the corner though. McGinn. Putting this one in here. Get your head to it. Chester. It is Chester. On his return from suspension. Doubling our advantage there. As soon as you could see him running, I was like, all right, that's going to be 2-0. It's just the animation. But what a goal from the captain to make it 2-0. Looking at this on the replay here. A lovely delivery from McGinn. But... That header, nothing the defense can do about that one. And that is two bloody nil. Come on. Grealish, feeding it through beautifully there to El Ghazi. Who's doing, going for a La Croqueta. Goes to Davies. No, it's Grealish. There it is. No, Ito. Is that a corner? No. I thought that's a good deflection. What? Oh, that is an atrocious finish. Grealish. Oh, feeds it through beautifully to Abraham. Come on, Abraham. Green time finish. 3-0. I was focusing so hard on that one. But I am loving Grealish and Abraham's combination. Lovely finish there. Abraham's so fun to use. Look at that. Just a splitting through ball. They didn't have the pace. Lovely finish. Just low driven. 3-0. We are going to make a substitution here. Getting some fresh legs on. It is John McGinn coming off and Mile Jednak coming on. All right, we've got the ball here in a good position. Ito's going to throw this one to Jack Grelish. Davies holding it up. Yednak, look at all this space. Deflection. Big deflection. That is 4-0. Is that going to go down as Yednak's goal or is that going to be an own goal? Because that took a monster of a deflection. But this is by far the best we have played all season. Let's look at this. You can't give. How did Yednak get that much space? He hits it. It comes off their defender. But I think it might go down. Yeah, it go down and Mille had next goal because it was on target. Oh, they're on the attack. They're looking. I want to keep a clean sheet in this game. Let's not concede again off a corner. They've got the height, but Malassia of all players wins the header. Good shot there. Save from Kalinic. Two more substitutions here just to save some legs and to prevent injuries. It's Davies and it is uh, Abraham coming off. Yednak. Coming through. Come on. Make it five. Off the post. The follow-up on the angle. What a terrible first touch from Kodja. But we are just on absolute flames at the moment. They're on the attack. Putting that cross in. They get the ball. What the... F How did that ball go through? I wanted to keep clean sheet. But Forestieri had other ideas. We're going to get three points here, but... How the hell did they score that goal with two defenders around? I want to see this replay. Here we go. So they whip the ball in. It's a cross as per normal. What the fuck are Yadanak and Twanzebe doing there? What are they doing? Oh, they had so much space. I thought they were right on him. Lovely finish, but disappointing goal to concede. It's Kodja going to Grealish. I would love for him to get a goal on his return, but it's Ito going to Carroll. Going to Grealish. Back. Ito! Oh, what? I thought we were going to score that for sure. Thought that should have been 5-1 for all money. But I feel like that might be the final play of the game because the referee is going to blow the full-time whistle. There it is. That is a big three points. A 4-1 win against Sheffield Wednesday. And so the fifth and final game of the month for September will be an away day. It is going to see us traveling to Bristol City, a side that are decent. Like, I remember their really good cup run last season, and they eventually lost to Man City, I think it was. And, or well, they might have beaten Man City, I can't remember. But 
I definitely want to be taking this game seriously and getting a big result against them. They do have Palmer and Vyman, two decent players. Jada Silva, Thomas Callas, uh, Bailey Wright as well, the Australian. I forgot Bailey Wright played for them. They got a good side. Baker on the bench. It's a side that could cause us some big issues. And then this is our starting 11. It is the same as last time out, except I have decided to put Tyrone Mings at the left back spot. Malassia has been scaring me a little bit with how short he is. Five foot seven, and our opposition are consistently putting balls in for crosses, and he's getting out jumped nine out of ten times. So Tyro Mings, six foot five, I feel like he could be a worthy inclusion to that spot. So we're gonna start the game off strong. We go out to Ito. Who goes here to Abraham? Look at him out wide. El Ghazi! Oh, straight at the goalkeeper. Well, that worked out well. I don't really know what happened there, but we got the ball in a promising position. Here we go. El Ghazi again. Oh my god, at the keeper again. We just can't score with El Ghazi. He's finding himself every game in brilliant positions, but we just can't score with him. We have the corner though. We'll put this one near the penalty spot, just in front of it. Mings. Oh, it's punched away. Grealish though, going to Gilbert, going to Chester of all players. Chester! What? James Chester! has scored a long shot, and that's two goals in two games for the captain. The Welshman's on fire. Oh my god, I just took that for the fun of it. Chester has scored a long shot. Oh my god, this is going to be an interesting replay, but we have come out so good. Punched away. Good link-up play there. That's a brilliant finish. I know who I'm putting in at striker if Abraham ever gets injured. What a finish. Bristol City just passing the ball around here in this corner. They finally swing it in. They win the header. Oh my god, I saw my life flash before my eyes there. Thankfully, Kalinic makes the save. They're pushing here. We're trying to defend. They get the shot off. Clear it. No, before half time. Not the shambles. Save from Kalinic. Oh, what a clutch save. Here we go. Here we go. El Ghazi. Finally scores it! El Ghazi scored a goal! Oh, yes, mate. Oh, calm down. Is he telling me to calm down? Oh, it's 2-0. That's the dream start to the second half. Don't even know what the build-up play happened there. I wasn't even really... I don't know. I was just... Just not really paying attention up until we played that last ball. I was just going through the motions. Then I realized, oh, shit, I'm in on goal. We green time it. Lovely goal. Lovely finish. 2-0. Come on. Third goal would be nice, wouldn't it? Here we go. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Grealish. Back post. Ito. 3-0. When we get on a roll, we are incredible. We are absolutely incredible when we get on a roll. Momentum is our best friend. And we are using it to our advantage. Honestly, Grealish has changed this team. Ever since we got him back, we have just been on a different level. Ito getting a goal. 3-0. They've got a corner here, Bristol. The game is not over at all, but they would love to get a goal back here. They get the header and force a good save. Come on, lads. El Ghazi. Going to Abraham. Beautiful stuff. Grealish. Back post. Get somebody there. Davies. Davies. Oh, he squares it when it was going for a shot. Going to make a substitution here. It is Jack Grealish coming off. That's not... There we go. That's Jack Grealish coming off, and it's Tom Carroll coming on. Just want to save his legs. Here we go. It's McGinn. Going through to Abraham. Abraham straight at the keeper. There it is, lads. That is full time. And that is back-to-back -back wins. User controlled wins for the first time this season. We comfortably take down Bristol. Really starting to find our groove here, which is fantastic. Grealish, Abraham, Ito. I'm loving using all these players. So there we go, lads. We are officially through the month of September. I'm really loving doing one month an episode. It makes things really tick over. And I love cherry picking which game I play. Next episode, we have some monster games. Preston, North End, Millwall, Swansea, Norwich, and QPR. I'm probably going to play the latter three because they've all got real stadiums. But I am so, so, so excited to see if we can keep up this fantastic run of form we've been on. But that is where we are going to conclude this third episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. But most importantly, I hope you have a fantastic day. It's been Jared HD2 here. I am out. Peace.